So, uh, hi guys, uh, this is Dr. Edwards again. So, let me now work with you with the ending part of chapter 13. And let's finish this portion up. Uh, I'm going to also go over some of the homework questions for the ending part of chapter 13 uh, after I talk about some conceptual matters in this portion. I want you to know different uh, aspects of this table, table 13-2. It talks about common functional groups. And functional groups are specific components that are placed in a molecule. And when it's placed there, it dominates the properties of that molecule. The first one is the hydroxyl group. It is OH. And that's what all alcohols, or all the organic alcohols, have this OH group. These are covalent bonds, once again. And one of the hydrogens have been replaced uh, from ethane. And then so this becomes ethanol with that OH group uh, attached here. And that's a very functional um, uh, compound. Uh, that has many uses. The next is uh, is uh, ether, and ether has this oxygen that's sandwiched in between two portions. There, this is the methyl group. This is the ethyl group here, and this o uh, 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 this high, this oxygen is sandwiched in between, and then this become diethyl uh, ether, and that's an important molecule. So there are six of these. The hydroxyl, the ether, the aldehyde has this carbon double bond oxygen, single bond hydrogen at the end. You can see it right here. And you can, I'm sorry, you, you can see it here. And it's attached to one hydrogen formaldehyde it is the example that's used there. The carbonyl similarly has the carbon two bonds hanging free at the moment and a double bond oxygen and that gets sandwiched in between. Um, uh, acetone is a key element of that and these are all called ketones. The acids of these organic acid, acids is the carboxyl group and that's this carbon here with uh, an OH group a double bond oxygen and it goes at the end, so acidic acid. And then the last is uh, is esters, and that's then this carbon double bond oxygen, single bond oxygen, and then free at the front end, back end, and that goes in between. And methyl acetate is the primary example there. I want you to know these six uh, functional groups and the importance of them, I say again, that once they are placed by the chemist uh, in a molecule, that the, the, the functional group largely determines the property uh, of that uh, particular uh, material. Let me go here now to this, this additional portion here on the, the uh, important uh, terms and phrases in this part of the course. Let me just let it go right here. All right, so the functional groups, I just talked about them. Formaldehyde is a process that sugar is converted to ethanol and carbon dioxide with the, with the presence of enzyme that act as a catalyst to drive the, uh, the process. Polymers then is a long chain of simple molecules. So polymers are actually molecules and they are made of monomers and are linked together. Plastic, synthetic fiber, synthetic um, elastomers are polymers. I want to also talk about now these four basic classes of molecules of life. The first is the carbohydrates, that's number one, and lipids, L-I-P-I-D-S, number two, and third, proteins, P-R-O-T-E, 
INS, and the fourth are these nuclear acids. I'm not going to talk about nuclear acids much, but I really want you to know about carbohydrates. I want you to know about lipids, and I want you to know about uh, uh, these proteins. So the author goes on here and say that carbohydrates are compounds of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Just those three type molecules go into making the carbohydrates. And carbohydrates in green leaf plants in the process called photosynthesis, carbohydrates are made inside green leaf plants. And the primary one that's made are these sugars. So sugars, starches, and cellulose are all carbohydrates. And the sugars are made uh, within green leaf plants. Lipids then are made from carbohydrates. They're made of the same material, the carbon, the hydrogen, and oxygen, but the atoms are arranged differently giving the lipids different properties. So lipids are fat and fatty-like substances such as oils and waxes. Protein then, the principal constituents of living matter. When you look at a human, mostly what you see, the bulk of the body is made of protein. And so there are some 20 amino acids and proteins are made primarily from these 20 amino acids, okay? That's what I want you to know. All right, let me now go to the last part. I'm going to go over some of the multiple choice questions here uh, in this chapter. Okay. Let me bring up these. Uh, for, uh, 15 through 34. Uh, let's just talk about this. Carbohydrates, so 15 through 34. Carbohydrate derivatives, uh, carbohydrates um, derivatives in general are hydrocarbons that have had one hydrogen atom or hydrogen atoms have been replaced by other atoms or groups of atoms like alcohol that OH group has replaced one hydrogen and that now is a hydrogen derivative hydrocarbon derivative um, having been having replaced one oxygen one hydrogen I'm sorry Number 16, alcohols are organic equivalents of inorganic bases, uh, that OH group, whereas bases, the, uh, the bonding though is um, ionic bonding, here uh, the bonding is these covalent bonding. Okay, all right then, let's go on. Um, 17, the conversion of Sugar to ethanol and carbon dioxide with enzyme acting as a catalyst is called, um, that is fermentation. That's a fermentation process, okay? And 18, an organic acid molecule contain at least one comboxyl group whose molecular formula for the uh, uh, comboxyl group, it is, Comboxyl group is D, COOH. Organic acids are, for the most part, weak. They are rather weak acids. So the best answer for number 19 is B. 20, the reaction of ethanol with acetate, with acidic acid, produce ethanol acetate. And that is an uh, is an ester. Okay, so 20B. 21, 21, the structural elements of a polymer are called monomers. So polymers are made from monomers, okay? The monomers come in with at least one double bond 
and that double bond is processed and converted to a single bond, but then the monomer string itself out in a long series of these uh, polymer type uh, structures. Uh, 22, Dacron is an example uh, of a polymer. So 22 is B. Living cells consist most mainly of what material? Proteins. Living cells contain more proteins than any uh, other material. So 23 is C. Living things differ most from one another in their constituents also of proteins. Okay? So proteins. Uh, the way your skin is, the, 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 the texture of your hair, all those are different kinds of proteins that different persons have. And uh, that makes for the uniqueness that we see in people uh, as well. Uh, people just an animal in this case. Um, 20, uh, which one I didn't, 25. The most abundant organic compound on earth is this one, cellulose. C-E-L-L-U-L-O-S-E, -L 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 -E, and most wood is made of cellulose, and most animals cannot process cellulose. Humans cannot eat cellulose, uh, uh, for sure. Uh, photosynthesis number 26 um, produces carbohydrates. That's how we make the uh, carbohydrates. So 26 is A. 27 here, animals store energy in the form of glycogen. Plants, you will find, oh, that's the next question, store energy in the form of starch, starch, starches. But humans, animals store energy in the form of glycogen. So 27 is D. 28, plants store energy in the form then of starch. Uh, S-T-A-R-C-H. 29. Fermentation can convert sugar to carbon dioxide uh, and ethanol. Okay, that's the fermentation process. So 29 is A. Cellulose is not easily digested by most animals. So 30 is D. 31, fats and oils are this other class of compounds called lipids. And lipids are made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, but they differ from carbohydrates in the arrangement of those uh, atoms uh, that make up the molecules. And lipid, and goes on to say, lipids are synthesized in plants and animals uh, from carbohydrates. So they are made from carbohydrates, but they are not carbohydrates. 23. A given mass of fat compared with the same mass of carbohydrates provide the body with twice as much energy. Carbohydrates as sugar also provides energy, but when it's in the form of fats, nature has stored twice as much. So you, so you get twice as much for the same amount of mass. Uh, 34, it is healthier to eat unsaturated rather than saturated fats because unsaturated fats keeps the cholesterol content of the blood low. So 34C. 35 is protein consists of a combination of these amino acids or a that's it young people that's what i want you to know in this second part of chapter 13 this finish 13 go on and get all of the homework in now uh, for chapter 13. i've already given you the material that's necessary for chapter 14 as well so let's get all the homework in and turn it in as soon as possible okay Talk to you soon. Have a good day now.